hello and welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to diy with king tonto today's diy is a very special one to me i will be teaching you how to make your regular store-bought baby food yes you heard me right your store-bought homemade baby food okay i'm just gonna take these glasses off because my lashes are too long and they are freaking disturbing me all right so first things first is for me to clean my surface okay like you all know health is wealth so this is my disinfectant wipe i have already done this but for your purpose i'll repeat it again so i just take my wipes okay and before i set up i thoroughly clean my environment to make sure that i have a bacteria free and a clean free environment because when you're working with babies children you need to be extremely careful yeah and i'll dump this in the bin second thing that i have to do is pull up my hair and pack it up no swag in the kitchen for babies <laughs> yes now we've gotten that out of the way i hope i still look beautiful so that my future husband can actually see me through this um <laughs> okay so i'm just going to put on my apron okay you have to be really careful when you're making your homemade baby food because you need to be absolutely clean and surface really 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 tidy okay so i'll go into just a few things all right or the things that you need at home or you need to have at home to make your baby meal any baby meal at all first of all you have your i think spatter oh. egg whisker <laughs> yes you have that um you should make sure you have your measuring spoon this is very important because for babies you need to be precise about the amount and specifics of what you're putting into their food you also need a chopping board all these things you don't need to go out and get you already have them at home so all you just need to do is make sure that you have or you sacrifice if, if one of it for your baby because you cannot use um pepper where you cut pepper to do your baby food so just have one of each of everything at home just for your safety you need the scissors you need spoons you need big spoons and small spoons and you need big spoons i have big spoons over there i'll show you in a bit you need good knife and very secure knives where you can actually put it because working with babies you just might you know so please be careful you also need this it's a sieve i actually got the smallest one because this is what i actually use for my baby my baby is actually four years old and but this is actually the size i used for him while he was growing up it's just very comfortable and convenient and um while making baby food you don't really need excuse me you don't really need a lot of to make a lot of batch at a time so just a little bit at a time just yeah and um i have these really cute things i used to use for my baby when he was small to store food um i would make him home baked baby food and put it in there so when we're in public and he can drink and it's so comfortable it's so amazing it's it's more like a plate and a bottle at the same time it's less messy it's really good for beginners if you can find your hands on one you would appreciate me and thank me later you would need virgin olive oil well everything and anything you see here today has been specially made by me from home i while i was bringing up my child uh, while i uh, while, when i gave birth to my child i actually knew one thing that i did not want to give my baby anything but from the store because i had gone through store-bought food i have opened up cans and and i have seen videos on youtube and also on instagram just basically where baby food you find iron in baby food you find nasty things in baby food so when i had my baby when i was sure i knew that i wanted to become a mother i knew that one thing i needed to do for my son or my child was that i was going to feed him the best food ever and it was going to come from my hands from my kitchen but it was going to be the best of whatever is out there so while i was pregnant i took my time i gave i gave but actually in houston so in houston i took my time i went to mother's club i surfed the internet to know how to make organic baby food at home and my son today is four years old and he's the healthiest 
four years old I have ever seen. So if you are watching this, it is time for you to take your pen and paper, call mommy, call your wife, call bae, all of you sit down and learn a thing or two. <laughs> so another thing that you need to make your baby food is your blend, are your blenders. You don't need so much. I'm just an extra, extra person. And plus again, this is just for show, show, show. So I have a lot, okay? So you just need just one. And um, basically you don't need this particular really small ones, but if you can get the ones that can blend through anything, there are some that can blend through anything, but this is specially made for fruits alone. So I just got them to just demonstrate to you what I really do, but um, not for really hard things, but there are some that really blend hard, really, really hard things like rice, beans, it can actually blend it. But yes, you need a blender and don't blend your regular pepper at home in your blender. Please not right. Um, you need spices. Oh, what do you need again? Yeah. And you need pots, clean pots. Okay. So the first things first, a lot of women or a lot of mothers are confused as to when should I start feeding my baby solid food? Well, medically it is proven that you can start giving your baby solid food from four months and now that does not encourage you to stop breastfeeding you can combine it and that is what i did and my son absolutely will thank me later in the future because his baby pictures were so sweet like you could just see that you want to just you would just eat him because his skin he's he was so chubby you know oh well enough of me <laughs> enough of me okay so another question that's moms new moms um pregnant women they always ask us after making your homemade baby food, how long can you store it? Now, if you're putting your homemade baby food in the fridge, you can store it for up to 48 hours to 72 hours. And a lot of questions that people ask again is what do babies eat? What can babies eat? Medically, the only thing babies cannot eat is until one year is honey, pepper like really harsh pepper and salt and sugar i think sugar too sugar too sugar too cannot be given to babies until they are at least one one years but aside that you can give your babies meat from four months you can give him chicken you can give him rice you can give him everything okay so now i'll just dive into showing you the method but before then i have to wash my hands thank you So after washing my hands, the first baby food I will be teaching you today is the apple puree, the baby apple puree. Now I do have this baby apple puree. I'm not going to be showing you the brand. I do have this apple baby puree. Come closer please so you can see it. I do have this. This baby puree, it's apple baby puree is, is bought in a store and it's sold for at least a thousand to a thousand five hundred naira. Okay, so I'll just show you the simple way to make it, and that's the only way that they do make it. But the only thing is you're poisoning your child because there's so much preservative in this. There's so many chemicals to keep the colors like this and to keep the taste the way it is. There is just so much in store but baby food that I would never in my life want to harm my son. And that is why I'm showing you this so you can be careful and not harm your child so first things first what we need for the baby uh, apple puree is simply just an apple you peel you cut you wash these are already washed it's already washed everything here is already washed but you peel you cut and you peel your apple okay because of if for you to feed like a new like maybe a four month old baby you would need to take out the back because it might well it might not really blend so well and it might affect them so as time goes by you can actually leave the back for your child as they get used to it but assuming i'm making this for a new maybe like a four month old baby okay i'm going to waste a lot of apple now because i want to be fast so i'll just peel up Pull up my apple back, okay? Simply like that, like so, like so, okay? And 
I will just dice them into really cute cubes like that. Okay, so it's just okay, just apple peeled, really nice. And I will take this apple and I'll put it in my pan. Once you put the uh, the apple in your pot, you just leave it to simmer until it's just put a little water in it and leave it to simmer until it softens. It's not supposed to be soggy, just for it to soften. I'll show you. So this is the one I was cooking before I started. So this is my steamed apple. I just already steamed it. Um, my blender is already washed. So you have to wash your blender. It's very important. Anything you give a baby, you have to be attentive to it. Make sure they are all clean. There's no excuse for that. So I'll just simply put my apple in here. Another thing again you need while you're making your baby food is clean water. Clean water which I have here okay so i just want the apple puree to be a little bit liquefied so i'm just going to add little little of that now the thing is when i while i was breastfeeding and giving my baby solid food at the same time i was able to use my breast milk for the liquef liquidification okay so instead of me to add water in this i'll just have my baby milk in the fridge already that i already have already you know processed and just keep to store i just add it in and okay i think i have to add some more water so it can really blend okay oh god i wish i was breastfeeding so i could put my breast milk in here <laughs> so you'd see okay so I'm just going to give this a very good blend. Just going to give it a really good blend. Sorry. Okay, I think our baby puree is ready. So I'm just going to, okay, put it in here. Okay. All right. And I'm not trying to be cheesy or cheeky or trying to condemn anything. I love every hardworking company out there. But I'm actually just going to turn my store pot apple puree in here so you can see the difference the difference is so clear like you can't even you can't you can't even compare you really cannot compare this this is my homemade baby puree apple no, this is my homemade apple puree baby apple puree and this is my store-bought apple puree so you can actually see this is store-bought and i just made this now and this costs so much and this costs less than nothing you can just pick this up from your food basket at home and voila your son or your children are eating healthy why spend so much poisoning your child anyway that's just my simple logic like I won't do it. <laughs> okay, so now we have the apple, baby apple puree out of the way, and I hope you got all the recipe. It's very simple. You cut your apple, you wash your apple. First of all, wash your hands, tie your, 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 your hair in the knot, clean your surface, cut your apple, dice it, put it in a pan, put a little water just to simmer, not to get soggy, just to get soft enough for you to blend. Because the baby's um, palate, oh, no, no, not palate, the baby's... Um, what is it now texture how the the, the, the the texture in the tongue is not so super super great so you have to put the smooth texture at first so you have to really blend it and that's why i had to show you i had to really blend it into something really like it's it's super smooth i mean even a three three month old baby can even have this it's super smooth and mm, super nice <laughs> yeah so we have that out of the way and the second thing I'm going to be teaching you how to make is you, it's your oats. 
It's your cereal, just cereal. You know your baby cereal, how you go to the supermarket and you pick a fancy bottle and it's baby cereal, it's either corn baby cereal or it's either oat baby cereal. Oh my dear, it's either rice baby cereal. Now, it is good, it is amazing, but like I said before, while, while I was pregnant and um, I was in a foreign land, I had so much time on my hand to actually research all of this. I saw videos of moms complaining. I saw videos of, of um, people, of yeah, new moms, parents, and other companies suing other companies because of what were found in baby food. So I promised myself that I was going to be that mom that was going to spoil my children in every means possible. And that also includes feeding. So I had to go out and learn how to make your baby cereal. So you know when they say... <clears throat> We're having, oh, I'm going out to buy baby oat cereal. Simple. Your baby oat cereal is simply only one ingredient in it. Oatmeal. And that's what we buy for 2,000 naira. Sometimes you buy for 5,000 naira. And the truth is, it is only just your oatmeal. Now, I'll tell you how to make your baby oats, your baby Oats meal cereal. I mean, oat cereal, right? Yeah, oat cereal. So it's simply just having your oatmeal, okay? Have your oatmeal. Um, this is not organic oatmeal. Organic oatmeal means hand-picked and hand-done. It is not organic oatmeal. I couldn't find that. But while I was pregnant, and while I was feeding my baby, I used all organic products. So it just simply put in... So I'll just simply put in... My just normal oatmeal, Quaker Oats. I think that's what we that's the normal name people actually know it here. It's just your oats, okay? Just give the only your oatmeal in here. Okay, so I'm done with my oatmeal. I just keep it down here and cover my blender up. <clears throat> I mean, you can actually use the big blenders and um, just because I have to really demonstrate to you how to do it I I can't really carry out all the big blenders um, from my house so I had to get really regular ones and smaller ones but the whole idea is to blend this to a smooth powdery surface and um, for children above um, for children above sorry for children above um, six months you don't have to really really blend it to be so smooth you can actually give it like a rough texture so you don't have like the the um, smooth texture in their mouth and so that you can actually feel them but for babies you need it to be really smooth so i'm just going to be specifically making it for babies for four months but like i said your texture depends on you and your baby my baby cannot have the same texture with your baby your baby might not have the same texture with my baby so it's okay Okay, all babies are the same and they're not snow and that's special. Okay, oh, we're all, they're all special, they're all special. <clears throat> okay, so I give that a good blend, and um, that is it. It's just as simple as A, B, and C. And now come closer. This used to be the oats that we knew. And this is blended now so i'm just gonna turn it into this so you can see the texture from there see the texture so you can go smoother or you can actually leave it as rough or it depends like i said the texture depends on you so this is just what you go to stores to buy as your baby oatmeal and that is the truth you can check other websites you can check other diy channels this is just it and we spend so much money buying this so i mean it's just only very good and innovative money it's, it's it saves you money it's and it's just the best of the best that you're offering your child so nothing can beat that and one thing again i forgot to introduce to you while you're making your baby food is that you need to have proper storage cans like you it has to be airtight so once i cover this up now i can use this for a whole week two weeks if it's, if it's full enough and 
I will be safe as long as I cover the lid very well, airtight and store it in a very dry place. So this is just what we buy. Like I said, this is just what we buy. Okay. So another one that we, another baby cereal that is very popular is the rice baby cereal. And the rice baby cereal is amazing. I really love it. I, I was one of our go-to meal, like every, anytime I couldn't really do anything, you know, stay in the kitchen for so long, it was one of my son's go-to meal and he really enjoyed it. Now there were two ways to make my baby rice cereal, okay? Two ways. I'll, t I'll teach you the two ways now. And all you need is just rice. You need rice. You, need, you can either use your white rice. You can use your brown rice. So whatever rice that you have. But I like to combine my brown rice and my my whole my white grains because they just have like different, you know, um, nutritional benefits. So it's just larger when I just combine it together. It's just awesome. So what I normally do when I'm preparing my rice cereal is simple have your rice whatever grain you have whether it's the brown rice or whether it's the white rice as long as you have a rice all you need to do is baby food is just actually the same procedure just the same thing have your blender ready washed of course um now what i normally do is i wash my rice properly give it a good wash and I've laid out on a surface, a clean surface, where I know that it wouldn't be disturbed by flies, by human beings, or by nothing. So I just spread it out and let it dry. And sometimes I actually fry it over the frying pan so I, it can just get a little bit, you know, um, roasted. And that's the flavor for roasted one is actually amazing. So you can actually do that. So this is my washed rice and it's dried. So all I just, I'm just going to do now is put this in here. Now, I'm so scared because I'm not really sure if um, this blender can actually hold blending rice. I'm, I'm really feeling very skeptical about it. But yeah, that's the, the procedure is just simple and the same. You just blend. You blend, 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 blend. Just keep blending until you get a smooth Okay, my blender is not strong enough for this. So normally what I do is I use the, the industrial blenders to blend this. So this is not very strong for this, but that is the method to do it. But I will show you one I made at home. So this is, come closer please. So this, and I want you to look at how refined it is. Look, look, this is, look at how refined it is. Look at how beautiful it is. It looks so amazing. It's no preservative. It's fresh. So what you do while making this, after blending your rice, you store it in a very tight uh, lead container. And when you want to prepare it, all you do is, assuming this is your pot, okay, you just add a little water in it. The water has to do with, has to be measured by you, the amount of um, uh, cereal you want to make so you push your water over the fire you push your pan on the fire put your water in it and probably just take two or three spoons of this and you put it while the water is cold in it and you keep you just keep doing that you just keep doing that and it's just going to cook it's just probably just one or two minutes and voila your baby cereal is ready and in the baby cereal you can add your breast milk in here or you can add your normal baby cereal in there so anyone you have is okay but i prefer the baby breast milk so this is the one i made at home you saw how fine it is very simple to do and that's it so i'll just clear here for you so i can bring in the big guns <laughs> So the next thing I want to teach you how to, okay, sorry, I also, I told you, I said there were two methods to make the baby cereal. Let me check my pot. Yeah. I said there was two methods to make the baby uh, rice cereal. One, you can just boil your rice, straight out boiling it, putting it inside your blender and blending it, putting your... Um, baby milk or your breast milk and blend everything together and into a smooth paste and you give your child some people would like that i i prefer that method although it's longer but when i had my baby i i really had time like i knew that this baby was here so i i brought out all of my soul for my child so 
I had time. I had time to do everything. If it needed the long method, if the long method was better for me, I would take the long method. Nothing was just too much when it came to my child. Nothing, nothing was or nothing is ever too much. So yes, I actually boil my rice, blend it, and add my my uh, milk or my ba my breast milk, and that is it. And sometimes you can actually add your egg yolk. Your egg yolk in it turns out fantastic too. So this is a baby store bought rice pudding okay i'm not going to show you the name or the branding but this is your store bought baby rice pudding you see what's this okay so this is it i'm going to be making exactly what is in this jar and i'll compare the colors and of course if the colors come out better it's better right so now the rice pudding is simply just your rice you only need your rice really basically that's the most important ingredient in your rice pudding your rice your baby rice pudding okay um you need your rice what you do is wash your rice properly wash it thoroughly and put it in a pan on the fire and boil now your rice is just boiling to be soft i have already I have already boiled my rice here, just so that the tutorials could be faster. Come closer, please. So this is just, sorry, I'll just keep this here. Let me give this a good wash. Or rinse. Okay. So, now, I'm trying to make my baby rice pudding. So this is already my rice already boiled and I added a little bit of sweet corn to it. So what I'll do is it's already washed and clean. I'll just add my rice cooked clean rice in here and you don't put salt please you don't put salt in any of your baby's food unless they are above one year old please one year old so i'm just going to put that a little bit of that take this back here um i'm going to add water for just li liquidification like i told you i always love my breast milk because it serves a lot of purpose even if it's cold and frozen as long as the rice is hot i just bring it out of the freezer and i throw it in and i blend it i give it a good blend and it warms up with the rice it's amazing it is super amazing so but since i don't have my breast milk here and i have my milk here i'm not going to be blending my milk because it's already powder right so by the way that's baby milk so I'm just going to be adding my water in here so that it can loosen my rice up and make my blender very easy to go through it. So, oh wow, okay, let's blend in. You can go smoother. Your consistency, your um, texture consistency can be actually be really smooth, smoother than mine like this, or it can, it can even be rougher. It depends on your child. So this is the store bought baby rice pudding that we buy. I think we buy it for like maybe a thousand or above a thousand naira or something. 600 naira so i'm not too sure how much it is in dollars i think probably 14 dollars or 50 dollars i'm not i'm very i'm not sure trust me i'm not sure but i'm sure it costs a fortune and it's something that you can make at home it's delicious i can eat it mm. Mm. and it's super 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 healthy yeah so my last but not the least it's a very simple one Oh, okay, sorry. I need to do this, okay? I need to show you guys why I do what I do. These are the same things, the same ingredients, the same everything. This is store-bought and this is homemade. Look at the color and look at the color of mine. It's just two, three recipe, um, ingredients I put in here, rice, uh, my sweet corn, and my baby formula. And this is rice, sweet corn, 
baby formula, chemicals, coloring. I'm not even sure they colored it. I mean, the preservative just already spoiled it. So this is a no, no, no for me. And as, a, as an African mother, and also as a farmer, it's a no. My son would eat the healthiest food, and that's what I'm teaching you, for your children to eat the healthiest food. Because you never can tell. My son can marry one of your daughters out there, and she needs to know how to do this, okay? <laughs> no, well, it's, it's actually a fun thing to do, too. The last one I'm going to make, okay, I'm going to make it really fast. Now, this is my store-bought chicken casserole. Chicken casserole, okay? It's baby chicken casserole for, for babies, obviously. And um, it's from four months old. Um, I'm super disappointed, actually. See? Look at that. You see all that mocha thingy going on there? You see that one in here? I will be making exactly the same thing, but for um, I'm making the same food here at home. Okay, all you need for your your chicken casserole for your baby. What they mean is just a, a chicken dish. Okay, just a chicken dish. Practically, that's what they mean. Okay, now how to make that? How to make a chicken dish for your child? What you do is have your sweet potato in here have your carrots here, your sweet corn here, a little bit of onions. You can add garlic and a little bit of ginger. It's okay for children from four months because they are herbs and they are actually good. Your children can eat herbs. You add um, Irish potatoes because the sweet potatoes and Irish potatoes, they are all good and the same, but they carry different vitamins and different nutritional values in them. That's why I use the two, but you can use one if you want and just a little bit of rice, just a pinch of rice, okay? And that is all you need. And in here is my parsley. I'm sure you know what parsley is. And I, like I told you from the beginning of this show that everything that is on this table is organically made by me apart from this that i had to buy in the store because i didn't get to the farmer's market to get organic ones this parsley was made by me i had handpicked my parsley dried it and blended it when i tell you that i want to spoil my child <laughs> you don't even understand the word yet like i totally spoil him when it comes to his health because health is wealth i i won't I would not be happy celebrating a sick child in the, on the long run or would not be happy celebrating a child who is not here with me anymore if, the health, if he has health issues or if I don't feed him right or if I even pump him with chemicals. And I say chemicals a lot and I'm not saying that to guilt trip you. Just like I did not know until I got pregnant, I know that some of you out there don't know too. I thought it was a swag thing to go into a shop and buy a cute little bottle for my son. You know, when I had, that's my single girl mentality. You know, it's bottle is cute. You know, people see me feeding my child from a bottle. It's cute. It's by this big company or it's by that company. No, 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 enough, enough of that. There's no swag in that. That's just killing your child. So yes, simply put, this is all it is and uh, chicken breast. So I have my chicken breast, my, uh, my, my carrots, my onions, my sweet corn, my potatoes, a little rice and my homemade parsley is dried in. So I just add everything together like that. Okay. A little rice here, just like that. And my chicken. And all I do is I transfer all of this into my pot okay that was into my pot i put my water in and i boil it now for just for us to be fast I, i've already done this before so this is it in here i'm sorry i just give this a wash again so this is the same thing consistency i just showed you right now come closer please the same consistency i just showed you now this is my chicken this is my potato uh, you can see my um, sweet corn in there. Basically, you have everything. Um, I, 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 I was talking to you guys, so I let my, my water dry up. So, but I'm supposed to be having like chicken broth or the broth or the vegetable sauce in here, but I don't have it now. So I'm just going to add my water in here. Okay. And now one of the ingredients I put in here that you would not find online or that you've not seen in the um, recipe of making this online is what they call 
my crayfish and there's something called baby crayfish and baby crayfish just takes a longer time to process it's just a normal fish that we eat but you have to hand pick it really clean this is homemade not store bought i hand picked my crayfish make sure it is clean and i i gave it a good 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 blend so it's just like a powder it's almost like a powder from now so this make sure you can mix it in your pap you can mix it in your custard for your baby. You can mix it in anything that you want. You can also mix it in your, your baby rice pudding. So I actually put this in it. So it it's, tastes really good. No mag, no uh, flavor, no, no um, seasoning, none of that. So this is cooked and ready to be blended. I had to change my blender because this ones, they just kind of misbehaving. I don't know what's wrong with them though. Okay this down I'll just turn turn everything in here and all I'll do is close it okay that sound not, makes me realize that I need to add some more liquid in it so I'll just add my water in there more water in there have a blender like this before you open up your blender it's good to just take this out to release pressure from the heat if not it's going to go on your face and you would you would not even want to make baby food at home again <laughs> you would just say I oh, know what I'm just gonna feed my baby whatever he eats but no 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 we need to take care of ourselves as we are taking care of our children yes so I would just come closer please so, I just put my consistency in here. This is amazing. It's, 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 oh, I can even, like the smell is, oh my God, it's so, it's so heavenly. Heavenly, heavenly. Hey, I, I wish my child was small again, you know. I wish she was tiny again, so <laughs> we could eat. I just waste all, I hate to waste food, you know. So, yes, this is just your simple baby chicken food simply put it's your chicken cast it's your baby chicken casserole food it's canned and it's all in all stores you can get it from anywhere but this is what it looks like store boards please come closer and this is what it looks like homemade you cannot beat organic food you can meet home you can beat home food it's just something about it. There's more freshness to it. There's more sweetness to it. You add your love to it. And I mean, what, what beats giving your son so much love in a plate? So this is my chicken casserole baby food DIY. I'm just going to give it a good taste and we'll see what it is. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay sorry i forgot to tell you there's an ingredient i added in here i just tasted it now that's why i remembered it's my olive oil this olive oil is very special to me and i'm very stingy with it because it's diy too and as time goes by i'll be teaching you how to make so many things i made this myself hand-picked from green and black olives i squashed them myself and i made my oil myself and that's why you have my garlic in here so you know this is homemade so i added a little bit of drizzle of this in the pot before after, while boiling and that's what gave me this consistency so as you can see for today's tutorials we have successfully made three baby food and learned how to make our oats cereal and learned how to make our rice cereal and learned how to store our baby food in tight containers as you can see here this is the chicken casserole baby food and your baby can have this from four months it is super advisable to start feeding your baby from four months but please do not remove breast from their mouth do not remove their breast milk from your mouth you can combine it together like i was a very busy mom but i was very involved so i breast put i pumped my breast a lot for milk to come out and I would store in the fridge and at some point I had almost 150 bags just sitting there and I just take out every day sometimes I had to even bath my child with it because it's very good so yeah 
that's that. So thank you very much for watching DIY with King Tonto. I hope this little tips I have showed you will help you save money and also treat you um, and also give your children nutritional and good food and not chemicals and just you know for those you know OCD moms who just want to be sure of what their child is eating instead of taking every every spoon of food you buy from the store and taking it to the lab to test you just simply just make yours at home so thank you very much if you enjoyed this video please share it and also subscribe to my video so you'll be the first to know whenever my diys are coming in diys are gonna be dropping every saturday so please stay tuned and tell your friends about diy with king toto i hope this helped you and please 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 make as much comments as you want i'll be ready to answer if you want me to repeat any lesson i'll be ready to answer if you want me to specifically do a diy to anything i'll be here for you because i'm your girl and you're my guys so 